Banner, obviously a great initiative by you to uh, get everyone back home for a 10 year reunion and uh, obviously what, what's the process for today mate? Um, just to reminisce a little bit about our 08 Premiership and remember how good we used to be and I'm sure we'll be a lot better by the end of the night than we really were. Uh, what are your memories of, of 2008? Obviously that was a massive year for the Chargers. Uh, yeah it definitely was. Um, main memory was we were on the road every week in that finals period and um, just the belief that we had in in our team to get it done and you know the camaraderie of that team and how good good we were to get it done in the end. Obviously a couple of the boys have mentioned one of the highlights for them was your 29 point uh, heroics against Geelong. Yeah, yeah it was a it was a it was a it was a good quarter. <laughs> um, yeah just one of those times where you just get hot and Everything I've shot went in, so yeah, it was good. And uh, obviously the team, the team camaraderie, and obviously the bond between you guys was was really good on and off the court that year. Yeah, it was, and you know we we're all still in contact today, and you know ten years later, and that shows a good team. Um, you know you're always friends, and that's that's how how it is today still. Um, the the ABA Championship weekend against Melbourne Rockhampton. Any any memories from that? Uh, we played uh, Melbourne Tigers in the semi, I think it was, and Daryl Corletto hit a three to put into overtime. If I'm correct. Yes. Yeah, um, that was a pretty big game. And then playing Rockhampton in the final, we just got done. It's referees' fault, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you can admit that 10 years, <laughs> you won't get fined for that better, don't worry. Uh, obviously, though, you know, playing with, you know, in that team, obviously you had um, Stewie, Nashy, I think Chuck, that was his first year as well too. So playing alongside those guys and obviously Chuck bringing a different dynamic to the team in, from years gone by, that must have been something pretty cool. And you were able to throw some alley passes from, from memory. Yeah, we Chuck and I had a pretty good... Um game understanding we had a that that link that we knew sort of when to throw those alley-oops and get the crowd excited and the thing about that year was we started one and five i think um so that's why chuck came in he was going to play with the thunder but we luckily got him and things turned around after that and of course yeah you mentioned playing every final on the on the road and obviously the the bond must have been really good on on those trips and really get you through some tough times and some tough games yeah always that's the that was the key you know we we never had any issues as a team um we always spoke any issues out pretty much at the bar in melbourne on the way back from road trips so we never had those issues and and that bond was strong and yeah we got it done and of course you had uh, dan krebs as a as a new coach and only coach for that season of course and Mark Shivers had departed to Melbourne so it must have been you know interesting time to adjust to Dan from Mark. Uh, yeah it was, um, it was lucky lucky time for Mark to or for Dan to take over and you know he inherited a good team and there was a lot of work that Chivy did prior to that that um, that that was leading up to those that championship. And of course, um, you know, I've asked the boys what they do post basketball now. You've been retired for quite some time. So, what are you up to these days, Mark? I uh, just moved back down to Hobart. I was back up the coast for five years running my own business, but yeah, just in finance and insurance down here now. And of course, um, you know, the Chargers won the Seawall Championship this year. Kind of ironic, really, isn't it? It's come full circle. Ten years ago, we won the inaugural one, and ten years later, we won the, the last one, as you, as you probably heard. So what does that mean to you, in a way? Oh, I think it's sad that the Seawall's gone. Um, it was a very underrated league, I think. It's a it's, um, it's tough league, and I think it had a lot of respect down towards the end of its life. And where it goes from now, it's probably... Who knows? Who knows? Mark, enjoy today with your with your teammates, and uh, thanks for your time here on Chargers TV. Cheers.